Hey, there's a trailer for the Marvels out in case you haven't heard from 500 other people. I have nothing interesting to say in this intro. Kind of like how the trailer has nothing interesting to say. Let's talk about it. The trailer opens with a shot of space and Nick Fury back again. He's been in 3,000 Marvel movies now. Let's keep him going. Keep those checks rolling in for Samuel L. Jackson. He's walking around with a fresh eye patch and he's talking to Rambo who's going out into the cold depths of space into some sort of a quantum field. I don't know what things are, so I just, I'm gonna say quantum field. She likes to touch shit, I noticed. In WandaVision, she couldn't help herself. She's constantly touching weird things that shouldn't be touched. It's kind of like, oh, look at the electrical storm. This seems like something I should just put my hand on or put my finger in. Get a poking stick. Get something to just reach out. Don't just jump in. Guns blazing. Well, she does. Next thing you know, bam, she's back out, but it's not her. It's Kamala Khan. That's the young one from the Disney Plus show that people probably started and didn't finish like my family because most of the Disney Plus shows suck. Let's continue. Now, I do want to say something. This actress that plays Kamala Khan, I actually dig her. I think she's very fun, very likable, very charming. I just didn't like the show. The writing was very bad. The effects were very campy. It didn't hold my interest. It felt like something that should have been a movie and not stretched out an entire seven or eight episodes, whatever the thing ended up being. Again, we walked away at like episode three or four. And I actually like all three of these actresses. I did finish WandaVision, very solid show from beginning to end. Got a little silly at the end, but that's okay. And then there's Brie Larson, America's sweetheart. She has single-handedly started a renaissance on YouTube a few years back, which has turned into a cottage industry of douchebags that are angry about Brie Larson saying literally anything. As for this trailer, I was gonna break it down, but why? It's a teaser trailer. Marvel is incredibly good at putting these out. They know what they're doing. They have an iconic song from the 90s or the 80s or early 2000s, something that gets people to, to, to get out of their seats and nod their head. We have Beastie Boys here. Intergalactic planetary, this song is so fucking overrated. It was a great song. It's been played to death. It's in a lot of different things. And here we are again. Uh, first impression on this trailer, I think it looks very fun. I think it looks very childish, and that's not bad. I just saw the Mario movie, had a great time. It's very dumb. Plot makes very little sense. It's, it doesn't matter. You know the type of movie you're gonna get, the type of movie The Promise, and that was it. The problem I have is that the Marvel movies have kind of sucked lately for me. Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Shidium, or Quantum Shidia, whatever it's called, not good, not good. Thor Love and Thunder, maybe worse? I don't know. It's, I don't want to watch either of them ever again. And now we have this one, which I will say, effects-wise, looks a little better. They still have very colorful effects. That's the look that they're going for with all these movies, except for, ironically, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, which seems a little darker in tone. That was kind of the one it felt like all of these other movies were mimicking. Now it's, again, James Gunn's like, yeah, we don't want to be like what Marvel is, we like, I like to do my own thing, and it's usually the right thing. Um, I just don't really have anything bad or good to say about this. It just looks like a light, fluffy affair. The first Captain Marvel movie is mediocre at best. I don't like it very much, but I can watch it. I don't want to watch it. There's so many other movies to watch, but it is a watchable film. Not, not terrible. Brie Larson, she got a bad script. She's a good actress. She's smoking hot. I don't care what anyone says. I'm pretty damn sure most of these channels out there, these angry guys that are upset about everything, um, by the way, the go woke, go broke thing makes no sense um, because Disney has a lot of money <laughs> and apparently everything they make is woke. So what? Uh, the new Nintendo movie with Peach was woke. It's like the number one highest grossing animated movie already of this year. And I think maybe has the highest box office for an animated movie full stop. It already beat Frozen 2. So which is it? Is it woke? Is it not? I think these three leads play off each other really well. Brie Larson is in a tank top at the end and I'm all in. And yes, I'm a happily married man. I can still find other women attractive. My wife finds very, a lot of men attractive. 
just not me. Uh, but that's for another time. My point was, I think a lot of these guys have a soft on for Brie Larson. I'd say a hard on, but I don't think they can get it up because most of the time they're upset or crying. So that, I just can't imagine physically that, that being a thing for them. So they have a soft on for her and I respect that in a sense, but in another sense, it's really sad. The big takeaway many people will notice from this trailer is it's chock full of strong female leads. And quite frankly, it's about time. That lovable cat from the first film is also back and it looks like he brought the entire litter with him. How fantastic. <laughs> this movie's for children. It looks like a Disney Plus movie too, the coloring, the poppiness. And I'm not necessarily saying that's bad. I do wonder how this is gonna do box office wise because the first Captain Marvel was wedged between Infinity War and Endgame. This doesn't have that to play off. Instead, it has Ant-Man and the Wasp, which underperformed by quite a bit for Disney. So this is the one that's really gonna have to elevate things. Um, they're standing on their own. Let's see if uh, let's see if the girls can get it done. The Marvels looks good. I like the transfer of power thing they're doing. Kind of reminded me of Fantastic Four 2, Rise of the Silver Surfer, if you remember that, when they all power swapped. That's what we have going here. I think this is gonna be done a little better though. Again, Marvel puts out great trailers. It remains to be seen if they can keep the promise of what they're going for here, which is clearly a funner time at the movies. A little less serious, but hopefully there's still some heart. Hopefully there's still a solid story and uh, I'll be happy. I don't, I don't ask for much. Get in, get out with the movie. Let me enjoy it and let me, let me move on with my day. All right, I wanna hear from you though. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on all of this rambling nonsense. Like the video if you had a good time. Subscribe if you haven't. I post tons of movie and TV show reviews every single week. Uh, if you're upset about what I said about your favorite channel over there, I just, we have different opinions and that's okay. That's okay. All right, hopefully I catch you next time. Take care.